Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I have a question for all of you regarding this lens for my camcorder. So this is a Selp 18200. This lens apparently is around 1100 to 1200 bucks. I got this when I got my camcorder. I got this camcorder used for somewhere around the 1000 to 1500 dollars 6 years ago and it came with this lens. So I'm I wasn't expecting the lens to be that much given how much I had paid for the camcorder. Now, this lens used to work but it got messed up by TSA in my most recent trip. I've traveled with this lens many times before. I've been using this camera since 2014. Uh, and the first video I think I did with this camera was a video called Follow Your Heart, Fuck Everyone Else's Advice. And this camera is a camera that I got when I started to take YouTube more seriously. When I got really excited about the guides that I was producing, I got really excited about doing board repair videos more professionally so that people could watch and learn from them on a mass scale. And buying this camera at the time with all the other equipment that I bought marked the first significant investment that I made in actually trying to provide these types of guides on YouTube. When I got it, I also got the this is a $700 microscope camera, like about a $500, $600 microscope setup to plug into that, uh, a new computer, new capture cards, overhead cam, all that kind of stuff. And I didn't know that the TSA w messed this up. I got to the hotel in Washington and it wasn't working properly. And then I saw when I was coming back from Maine how they treated this when they take it out of the bag. And I paid closer attention just to see and oh my God, I mean... Like, what the, what, I don't know how they get away with this. I guess it's because they're um, a government agency and you don't really have much choice in the matter of going through the damn thing. But I don't know how you really don't get how they get away with treating stuff the way that they do. But check it out. So uh, that, the lens I have on the camera right now is this scratched up kit lens that came with a, a Sony camera that I had bought for parts a long time ago. So that, that, that's the one that's on there. It has, it's really loud, when you, so it's, it's kind of, you know, it's annoying if you're in a quiet legislative room. It's also, in addition to being really loud, it's slow at the focus. And it's just not. Now, this is my, my lens that I used to use that I really like. As you can see, I can still zoom, but there's no focus. So if I put it to manual focus and I turn the focus, it doesn't change at all. So I can turn the focus really quickly to the left or I can turn it really quickly to the right, and as you can see, it never moves. Before it broke, you could hear it going, you making these really loud grinding noises. But now it doesn't even make grinding noises anymore. It's just, uh, it's seemingly dead. So my question to you, since I've called several places and I don't really have much experience with professional camera equipment, is do you know any place that you would trust, if they even exist, that can actually fix a lens at component level? It's not even so much the money thing. I'm not saying that I'm happy to put out 1100 or 1200 bucks to replace a lens, because I don't even think I really need this one. But it's really, and this is going to sound silly and stupid, it's the sentimental value of it that really matters to me. This is the first lens that came with my first real camera when I first started doing YouTube more seriously and to try to create board repair guides that would help people. I took, you know, this is the, this is the lens that I did by the tier 4 Apple repair video on. It was the first video that front page read it. This is the lens that I recorded the Nebraska hearings in where someone said that if the magnetometer and the microwave can explode. This is the lens that I used in Tennessee. This is the lens I used in for the New York press conference when the senators and representatives were voicing their support for right to repair when Jessa spoke. This is the lens that I used in Boston. This is the lens that I used uh, to, in um, in Maine, and it just has a lot of memories attached to it. And it's, you know, I, I, feel, I feel silly. I feel like one of those kids that leaves the McDonald's after getting a balloon and then lets it go, and then, goes, and then the dad goes, oh, don't worry, I'll get you another balloon. And the kid goes, but I want that one. I, I feel that way about this. I, I realize that it's probably going to cost close to the amount of money that it would be to just get a new lens to have this one fixed. But I don't want to let go of this lens. I really like this lens. It's just... It has a lot of memories attached to it, and I don't want to throw it away. And I realize at this point I probably should be throwing this camera away. The camera that I use is a Sony NEXEA50. NEXEA50. The internal recording to that is something like 18 or 20 megabits per second AVC HD baseline profile. It's a total joke. I don't use the internal recording because it's, it's absolute garbage. I use this. Um, I use the. HDMI out because it has an HDMI out that can do 422 10-bit uncompressed, which is really nice. I like the fact that it has XLR plugs on it with line versus mic because at sometimes when I show up at these legislative hearings, they have line outputs and sometimes they have mic level outputs on the XLR panel. So I, I like the fact that, I, that it's really versatile when it comes to audio so I can always have good audio coming out of 
the hearings that I go to. That's very important to me. And I like the I don't know, I, I like it you know it's old it, it's crappy it's but but it's my camcorder and I kind of want to keep it going as long as possible so if any of you can give me advice in the comments as to where it is I should look into sending this lens if I want to have it fixed because I'm a sentimental buffoon I would really really appreciate it thank you very much and hopefully I learned something so I will see you all in the next video and uh, yeah the, for any of you who are asking in the main hearing why was it so zoomed in after this lens broke, in a 50-mile radius, the only lens that I could find that was in stock the same day was at a Best Buy. It, it was a lens that's, I think, 50 to 135 millimeter. So essentially, that lens is kind of like starting over here. It's like starting over here. It doesn't go all the way down to there. So I had to jam the camcorder in the corner of the room and hope that I could get everyone in view. But I figured that was better than not recording anyone at all. But one of the things that I learned from this experience is I probably should be bringing two sets of cameras and two sets of lenses to any of these hearings that I go to in the future, just in case something breaks, and also just so that I don't wind up getting um, sodomized by retail Best Buy prices for a somewhat mediocre lens. Anyway, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for anybody who is able to give me any advice or referrals, not Eugene referrals, to where I can get this serviced. Because I've been calling several places, and I've been getting very mixed signals <coughs> and mixed answers as to whether or not they can take on the job or even want to if I'm willing to pay. So, see you later.